right, so we have ourselves a, a big circle problem here. I figured the best way to test out my new Microsoft Surface Pro was to make a math video. I mean, who wouldn't want to do that? You know, this is a, a pretty exciting Friday night here. All right, so I've got uh, an arc of 100 degrees. I have an angle of 60 degrees, another angle of 35, and then two parallel lines. That's all the information I have here. Um, and I have my center there, that big old dot, okay. Now, when I approach these problems, I don't like to fixate on any one particular angle. Like, I'm not going to say, oh, I want to find this angle right now. I might not have enough information to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at what I have and see what it gives me. So, for example, this 100-degree arc, well, right over here, that's an on angle, which is intercepting here, and then it's formed by this guy. This is a tangent chord angle, an on angle. So it's half of that, it's 50 degrees. Let me get rid of some of this stuff here. So this guy is gonna be 50, okay? Wonderful. Um, now, another thing that I see here is that I have, uh, right here we have ourselves a diameter because it goes through the center, right? So, that means that this is a semicircle, which means that's a right angle. And if this right here is a straight line, well then, this has to be a right angle, which gives me 40 degrees over here because it's a right triangle. Okay, we're cruising right now. We're cruising. Wonderful. Um, let's see what else we can figure out. Anything else that's an on angle with that 100? Um, over here, I've got another 50 degree angle, right? That's an on angle with the 100 degree arc being its intercepted arc. All right. Um, let's see here. What else? Um, I don't think I have anything else I can do with that 100 degrees right now, uh, but perhaps in the future. Uh, I've got a 60 degree angle, which means this is 60 here, then this is 120, and this would be 120 as well, right? Um, ooh, and if this is 35, and this is, and we got 120 over here, it's 155, you subtract that from 180, then I get this angle over here, which would then be what, 25? if my math is correct, which I believe it is. Okay, wonderful. Um, if this guy is 35 over here, <coughs> then my alternate interior angle, I've got a parallel line right here and here, parallel lines, and I got my transversal right there, which means that these guys are alternate interior. Wonderful. So this is 35. I like it. Um, what else do we have? Oh, wouldn't that give me my arc right here? Because that arc uh, has the on angle right here intercepting it, which would mean that I would double the 35 to 70 degrees for this arc. Woo, this is, this is just fantastically wonderful stuff. All right, um, let's see what else we can do. Um, well, oh, I have 50 degrees right up here and then 90 degrees right over here right well if i have those two wouldn't this then be 40 degrees because it's in a triangle which adds to 180 right um if that's an on angle my intercepted arc over here right we gotta be able to see through all this craziness that angle hits right there and there whoop that just snapped into a triangle okay um so that right there uh is intercepting that arc, so I would double it, right, because the on angle is half the arc, or I can double the angle to get my arc of 80 degrees. Okay. I guess I also could have gotten that from uh, this being a semicircle and this already being 100 degrees, right? So I could have gotten that earlier and gotten the 40, but I guess I just went a different route with it. Cool. Um, all right. Well, uh, anything else here? Ooh, I've got 50, 40, 25, and 35. So what's left over for this little guy right here? Well, if I subtract all of that, uh, let's see here, 25 plus 35, that's 60. Um, so then it would be 30 left over right here. Cool. And that's an on angle, isn't it? There's my vertex of that angle, and it's going to intercept that arc right here. That's not what I wanted to do. All right, cool. So an on angle, I 
would double that to get its intercepted arc. So this is going to be 60. Lovely. Um, what else can we get here? Uh, I'm going to check out this 100 degrees and this 35 degree angle right here. Because that 35 degree angle hits here and all the way over here. So its big arc that it intercepts is that guy out there. Let me try that again. Here we go. That big arc. And then it's minor arc, well, I guess they're both minor arcs at this point, but the smaller arc is that one. Okay, so I can set up the formula, and I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff so it's not so messy. I would have 100 minus, and why don't I actually do this in a different color off to the side, 100 minus unknown x, this being my x. Um, so 100 minus that over 2 is equal to 35. So I can multiply by 2 on both sides. And then I'll have 100 minus x is equal to 70. And then see, I can subtract 70 and add x, and I get 30 equals x. So that means that this guy is going to be 30 degrees. Cool. Um, all right. Well, this, once again, is a diameter, right? Oops, I slipped there. That's a diameter, so uh, it splits into 180 and 180. So this, 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 and this, and that should add up to 180, right? So I'm going to subtract all those out, um, and if I do that, I would have, let's see here, um, 70, not the 35, my apologies. I accidentally circled the 35, that's the angle. So 70, 30, and 60, and this arc should add up to 180. I was looking at that, I'm like, that's already more than 180. That's crazy. Um, so I've got 70 and 30 is 100, plus 60. Uh, that gives me uh, 160, and then I would need 20 more to make up that 180. So this is going to be 20 degrees. Cool. My apologies for the minor mistake there. It happens. We're not all perfect. Um, all right. Anything else that I'm missing? Ooh, I've got some stuff right here, don't I? Um, well, hmm, I've got. Uh, let's see here. What else I can? What else I can use? Um, this right here. Okay, so that's 70, 80, 95 degrees for that whole thing, isn't it? Right. And if you look here, I actually have. A triangle going on right there I have the setting where it would snap it into a lovely um, triangle or circle so that's why it jumps back like that so that um, triangle right there should add up to 180 degrees right well I've got 95 and 35 right now so why don't I get rid of some of that stuff so it doesn't get so cluttered so 95 plus 35 well that's gonna add up to 130 well what's left over from that 50 degrees right here which then would mean that this is 40 degrees, and then this is going to be a right angle because this triangle needs to be 180 degrees, right? So then all of these are going to be 90 a pop, and I think I've got everything in this wonderful big circle problem. Cool. I like it. Excellent. America Freedom, Rock and Roll, Costco memberships. I think I'm going to go pick up some tacos now. Al Pastor Tacos for dinner. And Aubrey's going to get the Burritos Suizos Chicken uh, dinner. So very excited for that. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.